Hey guys, uh, today's lecture is based on synonyms. I'll be discussing 50 synonyms uh, with examples and sentences. Uh, synonyms have a great deal of importance when it comes to the English language. Uh, they help you not only increasing in your vocabulary, but also help you in better expressing yourself when you're having a conversation with other people. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first one that we have is amazing. When something is amazing, it means that uh, it's quite a good experience for you. It's great, something that delights you. As such, it's also brilliant, it's fabulous, it's mind-blowing, uh, it's outstanding, it's also extraordinary. We had amazing food last night, just an example. And of course, uh, the bold word is the keyword which we have the synonyms listed and you can replace it with any synonym that you feel appropriate now let's move on the next word we've got is answer and awful answer um, the only one that I can find was respond answer the telephone please the next one we've got is awful when something is awful it means it's quite bad it's the exact opposite of amazing um, this is the antonym uh, of awful. Awful and amazing are antonyms. So the meaning of awful is terrible, abominable, dreadful. It is quite awful to get cheated by a seller. Moving on, we've got bad. When something is bad, it's just not right. It's a disgusting experience that takes place. As such, it's evil. Uh, it could be spoiled, it could be infernal, uh, it, infamous, it could be dismal, imperfect. All of these are synonyms. It is bad manners not to welcome your guests. Or you can also say it is bad manners not to pay attention when someone is talking to you. I hope you are paying attention right now. Alright, so moving on, the next word we've got is beautiful. When something is beautiful, uh, it stands out. It's gorgeous, it's outstanding, it is mind-blowing. And the similar way, you see it, it's gorgeous, it's dazzling, exquisite, superb, and stunning. You're looking beautiful as always. Unfortunately, we, uh, even non-native as well as native uh, speakers, have been accustomed to using the word beautiful so much that we don't even take the liberty of using other words. We've got so many synonyms here. You can actually replace like you are looking gorgeous, you're looking dazzling, you're looking stunning, you're looking great as always. Moving on, we've got begin. To begin something is to start. And uh, I don't see any uh, more reasonable words like initiate, comments, start, roll the dice. Now roll the dice is basically an idiom. It's not a synonym though but an idiom and usually an idiom or a phrase is used as a more colloquial way of expressing yourself uh, why number one uh, it helps you not only in closing increasing in your vocabulary it improves your vocabulary and number two uh, it has it gives a very strong positive impression upon the speed upon the receiver so if I say all right uh, Asif let's roll the dice tomorrow it doesn't mean that we'll take the dice and roll it. It actually means that we'll start something, uh, we'll build something, we'll move on, we'll, we'll begin We'll begin something. So let's begin working on this project from tomorrow. You can replace it by saying, let's initiate on this project, let's comments, um, let's start working, uh, let's roll the dice. Uh, but of course, when you change it, there has to be a difference in the word sentence. For example, let's roll the dice on this project from tomorrow. Uh, let's initiate on this project from tomorrow. Let's commence on this project from tomorrow. But start, it's let's start working on this project from tomorrow. Moving on, we've got big. When something is big, you can use it in two references. One is to physically describe its size. Or number two, you can use it to describe in numbers. For example, 1000 is a big number compared to 50. Uh, you can say uh, a, a a country like Pakistan, where I live, I born, and make lectures here, uh, is a country with a population of a staggering 22 crores. Um, you can say 220 million is a big number as compared to any country that has uh, hardly 10 million population. So we are a population of 220 million compared to a country with a 10 million population. 220 million is, of course, it's a big number. So the synonym for that is huge, enormous, uh, gigantic, substantial and mammoth. 
Burj Al Khifa is the tallest as well as it's the biggest building in the world. Moving on, we've got break is to rupture something, to fracture something, to shatter it in pieces. It's rupture, fracture and shatter. This magazine is being published without a break since 1990. Again, this is one of the uh, very few words where you can actually use it in both um, literal sense as well as, as in metaphorical sense. To break something is by physically breaking something such as your smartphone. I hope you don't do that. Uh, God forbid someone's bone. Um, number three or any any product maybe anything that that falls off from uh, somewhere or it just starts breaking uh, and then another um, way of using this word is uh, for example your car broke down it doesn't mean that it's broken down in parts it just means that uh, there's a problem with it and it's just not working the way it should be um, the third the third way you can use this one is this magazine is being published without a break since 1990 this means that when you say without a break, it means without any gap, without any pauses. Calm. Calm is to, is the opposite of noise and it is to cool down to, uh, something that is serene, something that is peaceful. Uh, it is serene, peaceful, quiet and tranquil. If you ever happen to visit Pakistan, I'd love you to visit Hunza, which is an extremely calm and cool place to visit. Uh, to come is to arrive or is to Call someone to come over physically um, is to approach, arrive and travel. I won't be coming back to Lahore next week. Moving on, we've got another word. It's cool. Um, cool can be used in two ways. Uh, first, in the actual description of cool, such as the temperature, uh, weather. And number two is to say when someone uh, is nicely dressed, like a handsome person, a gorgeous girl, they're looking cool. Your dressing looks cool. It doesn't mean that the, the, the dressing is cold because there's hell of a difference in between both of these. But what I do mean to say, what you do mean to say is that when you're trying to say someone looks cool, it means they're looking quite good, they're looking quite dashing. So the literal meanings are chilly, frosty, freezing, and icy. Uh, Gilgit is an extremely pleasant area with cool weather throughout the year. So that's where you're getting my point. Moving on, we've got dangerous. Something is dangerous, it means it's not good for your health, whether it be mental or physical. For example, in um, companies like Shell, in other companies like in mining companies, um, in oil and gas extraction companies like Shell and Total Parco, um, the operations are quite dangerous because uh, you're at the remote areas and there's a huge risk of breaking down, uh, you can suffer f uh, a huge physical or mental health problems. So when something is dangerous, it's hazardous, risky, precarious. Lion is an extremely wild and of course a dangerous animal. Just try, just try to get away from it. To decide is to make a decision. It means to determine, to settle. A lot of people unfortunately pronounce the word determine as determine. Please note that mine, when I say it's mine, that's the only way you pronounce it as mine. When you say debtor, it doesn't mean debtor mine. It means determine. It means determine. Debtor mine. It means determine. Uh, the, the second word we have is settle. You need to decide your own career path. Next up we have is definite. When something is definite, it is bound to happen. It is confirmed. Uh, it could be decision to meet someone, to work on a plan or work on a project, to initiate something. Uh, it means it's certain, it's positive, confirm and obvious. I will definitely beat him up in the upcoming swimming competition and I am definite um, that if we remove any inefficiencies from the project, it will result in better, uh, it, it will have an impact on positive results. Uh, next up we have is delicious. Now when something is delicious, could be biryani, could be korma, could be pasta, lasagna, cheese, anything. When something is delicious, it's tasty. Uh, it's also mouth-watering, delectable, savory and titbit. So the beefsteak we had last night was juicy and extremely delicious. To describe something is to portray, to explain in detail. So let me just give you an example of describe. When you go for your IELTS, ESOL or any other examination, when you see describe this theory on the on, in one page, it means 
you have to explain it. You have to narrate it with your own explanation. Describe doesn't mean writing in, in one or two sen sentences. That's not description. That's a brief description. The actual description is to portray, elaborate, interpret, explain, and characterize. Can you please describe what happened in the last physics class? Moving on, we've got destroy is to uh, destroy someone physically. Uh, for example, a building, God forbid, falls down into pieces, uh, falls down in debris. Uh, for example, we've seen um, hurricanes over the last few months in Florida and other parts of the world. And there has been a lot of destruction. So we can say something is being demolished, it's ruined, it's raised and slayed. The building was destroyed to ashes during fire. Moving on, we've got difference. It means not being the same. Disagreement, inequity, dissimilarity. In democracy, difference of opinion should be requested and, as always, accepted. Moving on, we've got dull. When something or someone is dull, it means they are uninteresting, they are boring, they are bland, um, they are not something to be worthy to be considered. Bland, boring, uninteresting, monotonous. Monotonous means having the same routine. Waking up 7 a.m. in the morning, going to office, coming back 6 p.m., uh, spending time with your friends and family, sleeping at 10 p.m., waking up 7, doing the same routine over and over without taking a break, it means it's monotonous and it gets dull over the passage of time. Uh, humdrum and dreary. Or the last few years, my friend is going dull in her studies. End. Not end of this video. Uh, end means to terminate, finish, conclude, and cessation. There is a McDonald's at the end of this road. Moving on, we've got fall. There are two ways you can see it. When you say fall something or an object or a person is physically falling down, maybe from a building or from the first or second floor to the ground floor, or when someone falls in terms of their respect or uh, when prices are falling in the international market. So there are both ways, the literal way and the metaphorical way. Drop, plummet, descend, and topple. My favorite is plummet. Uh, the prices fell sharply following government regulations. Moving on, we've got famous. Someone or something is famous. It means it's got quite reputation. They're well reputed. They're well known. They're renowned. Um, they may be rich and wealthy. I don't know. But let's have a look. They're eminent. Eminent is something that um, it's not taken from Eminem. Eminent is something that is highlighted. That is uh, that has a lot of importance and of course an important person is a famous person. Dubai is famous for tourism throughout the world. Moving on we've got fast, it's quick, rapid, speedy, hasty and snappy. Usain Bolt is the fastest sprint runner in the world. There's no doubt about that. If someone or an animal is fat, it means they're not fast because if they were fast, they won't be fat. I don't know what I, I, I have no idea what did I just say. But if you're, if you or someone you know or an animal is fat, it means they're chubby, bulky, corpulent, and stout. So you're getting fat and need to implement a healthy diet plan to improve your diet and your exercise and your weight. When someone or something is funny, it means they have the ability to make others laugh. They're amusing, hilarious, and droll. My favorite one is droll. I found Peter to be quite a funny person. To get something is to acquire something, to own something, to achieve something. Um, secure, procure, gather. I got an email from Sarah yesterday. Or you can say I went to market yesterday and I got a brand new laptop, which means you bought one, you acquired it, you purchased it, it's now your own property. When someone or something is good, it means it may not be as good as great, but could be amazing, fine, wonderful, gracious, splendid, genuine, and sterling. He's quite good in social media marketing. Moving on, we've got great. It's worthy, distinguished, outstanding, superb, considerable, and mighty. The article was of a considerable interest to me. You can also say the article was of a great interest to me. Moving on, we've got happy. When you or someone is happy, it means that uh, they're delightful. Uh, they're having amazing time, amazing experiences of their life. They're pleased, delighted, exciting, excited, uh, joyful, 
ecstatic and jubilant. I'm happy to know that I scored 8.5 band in my arts. Hate is the opposite of love. It is despise, loathe, abhor, abominate. I hate it when I am talking to someone and they don't pay attention. Have something is to again get something. Uh, possess, own and acquire. I have recently bought a new home. Help someone is to guide, is to assist someone when they're in troubling times, in the times of trouble, to assist, guide, aid, support and encourage. I help Junaid in getting a better job than his current one. Hide is to conceal, undisclose, uh, to cover, to veil, to mask. I don't hide any secrets from my best mate. Idea is something, uh, a new thought, a new concept, that a new notion, something that you may be thinking, something that has not existed before, or if it has, in a better way. New ideas from employees help the company in moving to a better direction. Important. When someone or something is important, it means it's essential, it's necessary, it's critical, it's vital, valuable, and indispensable. It is important to plan ahead for the entire day early in the morning. Interesting. Fascinating, engaging, captivating, intriguing, gripping, and enthralling. It is quite interesting to work full-time and have a part-time business to go along. This word, little, you can use it just like big, um, both in the literal way, for example, a small animal, a little bushes, a rat is a, is a little, little rat, a kitten, little, tiny little kitten, uh, or you can use it, uh, have a little to no help, another way as well, which is a metaphorical way. When someone, something is little, it means it's tiny, diminutive, dinky, cramped, small. It takes little to no time for being polite and honest with someone. The plants will grow into little bushes. Moving on, we've got look is to gaze, glass glimpse, peek and stare. I will look into this matter. Stop looking at me. Oh no, please continue. I want you to watch this video. To love is the opposite of hate. You like someone, you admire someone, you are inspired from someone you care for, you adore someone. I love my parents more than anything in this world. To make is to create, originate, um, in some cases invent, manufacture, construct, build. Jenna makes mouth watering cakes. Don't make a fool of yourself. To move is to creep, crawl, shuffle, and lumber. You should make careful moves regarding your career. Moving on, we've got neat. When someone or something is neat, it means they're clean, they're tidy, organized, smart, and elegant. Your room is neat and tidy, as always. Moving on, we've got new. When someone or something is new, it means it has been, for example, we say a new smartphone, it means it's recent launch, it's current, it's of current times, it's modern, it's latest. Um, I just got this brand new smartphone a week ago. Something is old, could be a person that is aging, uh, could be antique. Uh, when someone is old, it means they are veteran, they are experts in what they do. They're mature and they're also primitive. Michael is 70 years old, yet he's physically and mentally healthy. Moving on, we've got place, which means location, map, diagram, method or blueprint. What time and place should we meet? To show someone is to display, exhibit, indicate, reveal, and demonstrate. Can you please show me how to install this software? Tell, talk, reveal, notify, inform, and narrate. I will tell you how to prepare for your IELTS exam. Use is to utilize, employ, exhaust, and spend. Use your monthly allocated budget wisely. Wrong is incorrect, inaccurate, erroneous, improper, unsuitable, mistaken, and inaccurate. Of course, I just said it in the wrong first place. Perhaps you might have called the wrong number. That is the end of this video. I hope that you've uh, watched this video till end. Uh, you liked all of the synonyms that are shared with examples. I will. I promise to you that I will continue focusing on this channel and promoting it and uploading with more content. The next video shall be on antonyms, top 50 antonyms 
and their, with their examples. Till next time, see you around. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.